It's Berg Vivant. It's theater time with Lonnie the Theater Lady. What do you got? I have a really fun show to tell you about. Yes? Yes, The Mousetrap. Let's talk about The Mousetrap. Oh, wow. Uh, I can see why this show has been playing in London continuously for 60-odd years and over 25,000 performances. It's a mystery. It's I mean, a, the show's a mystery, <laughs> not, show's not a mystery a, why it's been played. No. The, the people know what I'm talking about. Exactly. It's an <laughs> Agatha Christie, the old chestnut. Uh -huh. And the basic plot is that several people are trapped in a guest house trapped by a blizzard and they can't escape and it turns out that one of them is a murderer but nobody knows of course except the murderer mm -hmm. who that might be so the whole show is trying to figure out a police uh, detective is there trying to figure out who is the murderer and uh, oh it was just so full of twists and turns and red herrings and as an audience member you were never quite sure and you didn't know until the very very end and i won't tell oh Lips of course sealed. not right right, right 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 but this was a beautiful production by prime stage when i walked mm -hmm. in and saw that set i felt like i was I, I it makes you feel as though you are actually in an english guest house very mm -hmm. charming beautifully done silhouettes on the wall. Is it the hazlet right yes at the okay. new hazlet and this cast, I thought, really did justice to all the characters. As you know, each of the characters are very, very quirky. Oh, yeah. A and Agatha Christie, they're all like a type. Yes. You know. And they played their types beautifully. The young married couple, the Ralstons, who ran the guest house, mm -hmm. were played by Leah Beebe and Eric Martin. And they were just adorable together. And you really, truly believe they were a married couple. Then, the exotic... Mm -hmm. A foreigner that was oh. staying there, uh, I can't even pronounce it, Mr. Paravincini, uh -huh. uh, was played by Parag Goel, and he was really good in that role because sometimes sinister, sometimes funny, sometimes charming, you never really knew what to think of him. And I also enjoyed Miss Casewell, who was played by Jenny Malarkey, mm -hmm. and she was kind of the, what was her name from the Beverly Hillbillies, Jane Hathaway? Uh -huh. You know, the button down, very strong. And uh -huh. she did that very well, very uh -huh. convincingly. And, oh, Greg Messner played Christopher Wren. And he was just the sweetest, most lovable, um, innocent. You know, you, you, everybody was just charmed. The whole audience. Nobody's really innocent in a murder mystery. I know. Until it, proven innocent. Is everyone is charmed by him, uh -huh. certainly. Um, and Joyce Miller played Mrs. Boyle. Mm -hmm. And... Of course, Mrs. Boyle is kind of the crotchety one, which she did it very well. If I didn't know Joyce and know what a sweet person she is, I would have believed she was crotchety. <laughs> and Joseph Rittenhouse was Detective Sergeant Trotter, mm -hmm. and he gave a commanding, he gives a commanding performance as this detective and just kind of takes over the stage. He's very powerful in his role. I enjoyed that. And Major Metcalf was played by William Yannity. And his he wasn't on stage as often as some of the others, but when he was on stage, yeah, his presence was uh, very strong and noticeable. And he was the military man, and he gave you the feeling that he really is. So I must say, I found the whole show entertaining, charming, funny and the british accents sometimes i complain to you i can't understand what they're saying i understood every word of every one of the actors i was so pleased and they all had their british accents it is directed by richard keitel and he deserves a lot of credit because the pace was just going going like it needs to be never a dull moment that's for sure until now <laughs> What would you have done differently as the murderer? I wouldn't have murdered anybody. <laughs> well, then, then you're not the murderer. <laughs> then I wouldn't be a murderer. You would just enjoy a nice weekend. In the it, country. And with all of these peculiar people. Do some skiing, maybe. <laughs>
But were you anywhere close to guessing who did it? No, I was not. It was a surprise. It was. Over and over, I thought well, I knew, and then I changed my mind. When everyone dies and there's only one left, it's then pretty easy to figure out who done it. Well, in a murder mystery, somebody gets murdered. You just have to <laughs> accept that. I accept it.